I've been praying, I've been fasting, I've been doing everything. I've been living a righteous life. I've been trying to walk in the ways of God. But as much as I, I, I keep on doing that, I don't really feel his power of change. The preacher man told me there is nothing too possible with him. The preacher man told me there is no kind of sicknesses and diseases he cannot heal. The preacher man told me he will take care of my family. The preacher man told me he said God who can take care of my husband, he can take care of my wife. But now after I've submitted myself and committed myself to his ways how comes each and every day I got a devil to deal with every day I got a demon to deal with praise the name of the living God I came in this service ladies and gentlemen to speak to few of you and let me tell you the Holy Spirit once it comes upon a person it does not send you to the palace but it sends you to the wilderness preach drug preach praise the name of God the truth is nobody encountered Jesus in the church and nobody encountered Jesus in the mount on the mountain and nobody encountered Jesus while you are walking with the apostles we all had the life we were living before we encountered Jesus. Praise the name of God. There is a kind of life you were used to. Like the preacher who is preaching to you today. I had my past. I was not a good boy. I had my weaknesses. I had my own life. And after receiving Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, the man who testified to you in the crusade light to you especially when the program of the crusade will bring mama Cynthia to give the testimony and mama Cynthia will say when I receive Jesus everything is fine with my life when I receive Jesus life is so smooth in my life so you ended up giving your life to Jesus because mama Cynthia told you when you give your life to God God is going to take care of everything and now you have given your life to God and all hell is breaking loose in your life and you are wondering what kind of a God is this and you are asking yourself questions maybe they just lied to me maybe that God doesn't exist listen to me ladies and gentlemen when someone gives his or her life to God the Holy Spirit comes over the person and when the Holy Spirit comes over you, the Holy Spirit does not send you to the place of employment. The Holy Spirit does not give you the husband you needed. The Holy Spirit does not give you the money you needed. The Holy Spirit does not give you the house you needed. No, ladies and gentlemen, what the Holy Spirit does, he sends you to the wilderness so that something may die in your life. Preach, drag, preach. Now listen to me ladies and gentlemen, there are levels you will never arise, there are levels you will never get lifted to until the whole of you is taken into the wilderness. I will preach right now, your expectation was wrong, your desire was wrong because it was not connected to the will of God and that's why the Bible says uh, immediately Jesus left Jordan he did not go back to his father's workshop he went to the wilderness and in the wilderness ladies and gentlemen there is no employment opportunities in the wilderness there are snakes I will preach right now. I say in the wilderness everything is terrible. In the wilderness you have no brother to encourage you. You have no sister to give you hope. You have no brother to buy you mandazi. You have no sister to help you. In the wilderness it's all by yourself. And the only voice that you can hear in the wilderness is the voice of God by 
himself. So once you receive salvation, the first destination God will send you is in the wilderness and not in the palace. Preach, shall preach.